What I'm going to do in this one, I got a comment from a guy, and I've heard this comment a couple of times before, that uh, they thought one of the things you should look at when you have a flame rollout on a furnace, a modern furnace, this is one with an inducer on it, is to look on the roof and see if they've recently done the roof and sometimes the roofers will take off the boots around the vent and they have to take off the vent termination and when they put the vent termination on they put it down too far and it blocks the vent so the flame rolls out. That isn't probably something I would expect to happen because usually the pressure switch should take care of that. If I mean, it doesn't fix it. Uh, the furnace just won't run. Because you have to have a certain amount of vacuum for that furnace to run. And these things can be blocked off quite a ways. Now, if you look up here, I've put a termination on this uh, test mule furnace I'm using. This is just a furnace out of the junk. Okay, and I have pushed it so that this, the pipe inside has gone right up to the top here. It's very, very close. And it should block off the vent. Now the inducer on this thing is capable of pulling a pretty good vacuum on this thing. It'll pull about a 1.1 or 1.15 inches water column vacuum. Now the pressure switch closes at about 0.5 and it opens at 0.4. So that means when the inducer comes on, it's open. Then when the vacuum gets above 0.5 or 0.55, something like that, it will close and it'll start the burner. Now, if it's blocked off, that vacuum shouldn't be high enough to start the burner. Inducer is capable of pulling that 1.1 or 1.15. That's a lot more than that pressure switch needs to close. So could this thing roll flame out if the vent's blocked and the pressure switch still work? Because see that pressure switch has got to work before this thing will start. So I'm thinking that if it's blocked off, the pressure switch will not allow it to start. But I want to test this because I'm not sure. Now, if you look in the lower right or in the lower left, I've got a, a vacuum gauge on there. And so we're going to fire this thing up and I'm going to get a little closer in there and let's see what happens when I fire this thing up. Now here I've got a close up of it so that you can see the burners. Now remember, this vent is blocked off, so it's not going to pull a real high vacuum. If the vacuum goes below 0.4 during the run, or never gets up past 0.52 or so, it won't light. Well, let's see if the pressure switch, if the pressure switch makes, and the burner lights, if the flame will roll out. Now if you notice we're up at about 0.52 and the pressure switch has made. Hot surface igniter's on. Burners. Now let's watch the burners. If you notice that burner on the left, okay, it finally safetyed out. Let's run this through again and see if it'll do it again. Note again that the uh, pressure switch has made, I'm at 0.50, it did make it 0.51 I think. So let's watch it again.
Okay, now there's no evidence of a flame roll out here. I don't see anything. And this time it looks like it's going to stay. I'm going to give this a little bit longer time so we can listen to it uh, run and watch those flames. Okay, it does, it does not appear that this thing is going to roll out. However, it did safety out. Now the fans come on. I'm going to let this thing uh, warm up a little bit more. So what conclusions can I make here? The way this should work, if it's blocked off, you should have no change in the flame unless the pressure switch shuts it off. It should work normally or the pressure switch should shut it off for safety. Now that first light, uh, you know, it did seem to kind of roll out and it did put the flame out. Uh, so what can I say? Uh, maybe the pressure switch isn't that good. For the most part it worked okay. I didn't find, you know, once it warmed up it started working pretty good. But I guess there is a possibility that if you, uh, if you had a condition where that vent was blocked, the pressure switch may not fix this thing. It may not protect the uh, furnace from that uh, blockage. So I don't know. I kind of say yes. I kind of say no. It really didn't. It was kind of inconclusive. So anyway, that's what the result is on this one. Maybe if I pick up uh, another couple of furnaces from the junkyard, I might try this one on them too, and we'll see if there's any uh, any difference, if I can find any of them that actually do uh, an obvious rollout. Anyway, for this one, that's it.